just left a lot there talking with Carl and Kay from the UK. Um, you know, they, they've made the trip all the way over here and take the time out of their vacation. Uh, what they say, it was like a nine or 10 hour flight yeah. to get over here from the UK. They, you know, it's just, just goes to show you guys family. YouTube, our YouTube family is uh, amazing and we love to, you know, they, they took the time to, to, uh, to swing by and say, Hey, um, you know, Carl was a, a logging driver I think he drives some big trucks and big equipment over in the UK and, and it's just really awesome to hear those stories like I said stories that I would never ever get but you know I've never I don't know anything about the UK never been and, and uh, to hear the stories about their roads and and their uh, fuel prices and um, you know just their family and, and uh, the trips that they take and it's just really amazing that you know you guys will We'll swing by and share these these stories and memories with us so just wanted to say thank you again to carl and Kay. um they're representing everything auto all the way over in the uk <laughs> they've got hats and t-shirts and and even uh stickers we'll show uh, it here in a minute well when you pull up here but it was so nice to meet them and get to talk with them and it was so nice of them to take time out of their vacation to stop by and see us yeah guys that's that's just really amazing you know they, they love our area and and love it enough to to come over and uh, and say hey and which is really cool. But we're over here in the Gatlinburg area. Got to swing by the post office. Got a few extra things to do today. And uh, but we've met a lot of a lot of cool people. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can get in here. I got to show you guys what they dropped off to for our granddaughter, Alora. Um, I cannot not share this with you guys. I've got some pictures that you'll probably see on my Instagram. If you guys follow me on my Instagram. Um, or the TikTok page, you'll probably see this before it airs, but uh, YouTube, YouTube needs to see it too. Check that out, guys. <laughs> a little miniature vest for so Alora. So cute. That is, that is the coolest thing. Uh, so anyway, you guys are amazing. Um, thank you for spoiling us. Uh, each and every one of you guys, you're always spoiling Absolutely. us. We've got some, and I, and I, going to get back to the shop sometime i've got i've got a mountain of things that you guys have made for us and sent to us so i'll get i'll go through some of that stuff too and and get that out there but uh yeah just wanted to say how amazing you guys are so stick around stay tuned we probably got a whole lot of stuff it's friday fridays are usually busy so we got more coming in a quarter mile flight left onto oak ridge view lane Oak Ridge View Lane. Uh, welcome, welcome back, guys. Late night edition, like always. Uh, we've got a charger or something about to fall off the edge of the mountain. Going to see if we can go up here and help out. Um, we're off of Boogertown Road. Good old Boogertown. Who named this road? It's a good name. <laughs> Kids always want to talk about right left onto Oak Ridge View Lane. Boogers and butts and <laughs> <laughs> I have never been up this road of you. Nasty stuff. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the left. In 600 feet, you'll see a Challenger or a Charger hanging off the edge of the mountain. And it was on gravel, the picture they sent us. So. Gravels. Gravels. Why does it say it goes around to the left? Oh, I guess it does. Right, looks like a driveway. Round and round we go. Where'd the charger go? Nobody knows. Your destination is on the left. That's 17, 17. Do you see it down there? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, well maybe it's further on up, because that was... Is that gravel? It is gravel. Let me see. Looks like a permanent residence. I'd hate to go storming 17, up into their driveway. He told me 1717, but it's 1735. So, keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's up here, 17. Look, I see people walking. They're all 1727s this way. Oh, yeah, that bitch hits him. It's a charger. 
Oh, oh yeah, I see oh, it. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh boy. Hello. Howdy. I would say how are you, but <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's still mostly on the road. <laughs> that wasn't the main problem. The main problem is before I got to you guys, I was fighting for about four hours to try and get somebody to get out here before your sister company told me about you guys. I waited three hours for them to tell me that you got, they didn't have a truck and you guys could do it. Okay, so that's where, that's that? where the, uh, the problem lies. Yeah, I guess, who's the sister company? Uh, it was, the people I called were, uh, LMC Road Assistance Incorporated. My friend, I'm afraid you've been scammed. <laughs> I, uh, we, we see this a lot with, with folks that are, that are kind of in trouble. They'll, they'll type in a, a towing near me and, and then what will happen is you'll pay a whole bunch of money to this company that will make phone calls for you essentially. So they'll just reach out and start calling tow companies to see who can get here and perform a service. But what they're doing is taking a whole bunch of money from you to do the same thing you could have cheaply done by calling us directly. I'm going to guess that's what happened. Yeah, probably. How much would you guys have charged to do a winching? We quoted them. We, we quoted 325 to do this recovery. Okay, so did they pay you already? or They sent the card, but we didn't run We it. didn't run the card, but they sent the, yeah, they sent payment through a credit card over, over an email address, but we haven't. Yeah. Uh, okay, because they've already charged my card for the original 310 they gave me. Because she gave me like a $10 off coupon or whatever because I was waiting three hours. And then she also said it was an additional 90 to do it through you guys. So it totaled out to 400 <laughs> Yeah. Well. That has already been charged in both of my cards. Oh, wow. Um, and if they haven't given you that already, I don't have the money to pay you. That was yeah, all they, I they sent us the yeah, credit they, card. Yeah, they info. sent us the credit card, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I mean, that, it's, it's yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. Because we is, don't know them, and we don't, they're just, yeah. They're yeah. Just, uh, yeah, like I said, they, they kind of, talk. they charge you extra for calling around. So basically, you're paying them to call around tow trucks for you. <laughs> well, see, and my insurance company is supposed to, I'm supposed to have like five in a 12-month period that are supposed to be like completely covered. Yeah. Yeah. And I've used one since I've gotten my insurance back in... I don't know, February or March, whenever it was. Yeah. And these people were like, your policy says you don't have any roadside assistance. Oh, Lordy. I'm like, that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hate so, that. I hate that. I mean, well, just, I'm going to call my insurance tomorrow. I'll be like, you guys owe me $400. Yeah. Just yeah. save your receipt. Yeah, save your receipt that I you did. sent. Yeah. yeah. They'll reimburse save you. That. They should. Yeah. They'll, yeah. They'll um, for sure reimburse you, so. Okay. So you guys can come take a look at it if you want, but to me, the easiest way it looks like it's going to be grabbing it from the back and pulling it like this onto the road. Okay. Because that front driver wheel is the most on the road. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll but see if we can. y'all can look at it and you tell me what's best. Uh, okay, sounds good. Well, it's sticking. Um, um, let's see. Let's front wheel's the heavy side. Crap trees over here. A bunch of mimosas and south ones. Yeah, I think we should probably get a hold of the front. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm guess there's a driveway here I can turn around at. I'm probably gonna turn around and yeah, and be right. headed back that way. That that looks the easiest way for me. I didn't know if like getting under here, getting under there was gonna be easier. Yeah, I always try to go with the heavy end first. That would definitely be my front. Yeah, I always I always want to make sure I got a hold of that because that's the first thing that I want to go down is the heavy side. <laughs> um, your easiest place to turn around on this road is probably gonna be not this cabin but the next. The one. next one. Okay. All righty. Give me just a sec. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, I mean, a little, if you didn't catch any of 
or didn't understand I mean, any of that that's going on. We, we get that a lot. A lot of people will call and think that they're getting hold of a local tow company. I've discussed this on my channel many times. Um, and it's it's not, guys. It's a, it's, I want, I guess I want to say it's a scam, but you know, at the end of the day, it's really not. You're paying them to. It's basically a dispatch service. Yeah, you're paying them to find you a tow truck, and that's exactly what they did, so. But they just, they really charge a premium for it, and it's just not fair. No, know? it's not fair at all, because we, we had one that, uh, if you guys follow our channel, they charged them like almost $800 for a, an essentially like a $200 tow. Yeah. Oh, I felt so bad for them. It's like, and I hate that. And like, they're saying that they're our sister company. No. 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 We, are, we don't partner with anybody. No. Like I said, we don't share our money with anybody. Oh, no. <laughs> But no, guys, just keep that in mind. Um, you know, go go through your Google and make sure you're actually talking to a physical local company. It'll have their address on there, and and, and it'll show the company in the Google search, and and just click on that through the Google page. You Don't. Be able to read the reviews. Yeah, you should be able to read the reviews, and and like I said, the address will be there, and. And a lot of times it's the sponsored ad up at the top that's going to get you to these people that you don't want. Yeah. Skip the sponsored ad. I'm going to change out this battery because there's only 25 percent. I don't want to get yelled at. Gonna get yelled at. Oh. Holy smokes! Head on. Or go to the ditch. That's awesome. So are you local or are you just visiting? I work here. You're working? Okay. I am not going to Oh my god. This is the third time I've had something like this happen because of a tourist. Oh, oh no. Do you guys, how well do you guys know the area? Oh yeah, we've been doing this right here for about seven years. Uh, do you know where, I call it Fox Run. Um, it's the name of one of the resorts on the Um, it is. It's off Upper Middle Creek. It's so if you do you know where South Burger Town is, right? If you're coming off of South Burger Town onto Upper Middle Creek, it's you turn left and it's the next right. That's Walker Trail. Oh, okay. So, yeah. are you guys that towing company that's right up that? I talked. To, you guys have helped me out before. Really? Yeah. Well. I got stranded in your driveway. Really? Yep. I had somebody 
up on the top of that mountain, run me out the side of the mountain, and pop both of my right passenger tires. Oh, oh yeah. All the way down the mountain. Into yeah. The oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember that. That was me. You know, I'm sorry to have to cross paths like this again. And I'm sorry, you, I know you've been here for hours. The picture is under the daylight, and it's 11 p.m. Yeah. I sent that picture at 6 30. <laughs> oh, God, Lee. That's crazy. Six thirty. I'm just glad that you're okay and you were able to get out of there because that's crazy. I'm just glad it didn't tip it someday. Yeah. You told me it was like supposed to start raining at oh, some no. point. But God, if it starts raining, <laughs> this is going to wash out and this car is going to split. Yeah. yeah, that'd be bad. That'll be really bad. Yeah, it's, it's just holding on with some dirt back there. He said he was able to get his parking brake to He did that as he was going over. Oh my God. Yeah, this. There's a spot here. Yeah. Looks like he caught his back bumper. He was going to probably stop. He was going to go the rest of the way down. Yeah, boy, that's a long ways down, too. Yeah. It's a long Oh, my God. That's like for days it's down. It's like 150 feet down. At least 150 feet down there. Wow. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm gonna have to get my winches in neutral and pull just a little bit more. That was a that was a deep one.
Well, I mean, plastic bumper looked like it's seen some days. <laughs> Zip ties, yeah. It's uh, the old bumper cover seen some stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we've got you got a few missing zip ties there. Just a few. Well, these two stayed. <laughs> the top two stayed. <laughs> yeah, you got one that goes down. It, it's probably just got a little bit of pressure down here below. Might be a little bit of finesse. this corner here met up with another car I tried to get over got over a little too far it honestly looks like he may have started off back there there's some marks here but you can see here where his front tire dipped down into this area here and this area here it looks like oh there's somebody coughing so that was a bear it looks like his bumper caught right here. Well, you got my phone. I do. I was going to take a picture. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. There too. you go. I'm make sure. Yeah. So this is like pretty steep right here. His bumper caught. I'm trying to hold all this stuff. Bumper caught right here. His tire went off right through here. This is pretty sharp right here. Scraping the undercarriage here. He's lucky. <laughs> the wheel goes down. And back tire ended up here and the other back tire was down there right there front tire was there, there. The other front tire was down there very lucky you know, like probably yep. I think I think when you hit your uh, parking brake I think that stopped it because you see right here right there where it dug in right yeah. there that your back tire was hanging. I think that stopped it. Hoo -wee. So very fortunate that that um, dirt right there didn't give away. I guess. Do you want to try to probably manipulate that back in? Yeah. It probably just needs to back up. Right there where it's at. If he can back up. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> right now I trust you a lot more than I trust myself. <laughs> well, he's got me to stand here as a marker, you know. So. Emergency brakes on the bottom left. Yep. 
your radio sounds like mine. I said, I said, I want it to be a rave in my car all the time. Yes. That's what I want it to be. I agree. All right, now let's see if we can. That car is so dirty. <laughs> what do you think about this back bumper? Well, the back bumper is the, uh, is the bad thing, huh? I've got some zip ties, maybe we can. Uh, I mean, I mean, it might clip back. It's, in. yeah. I've, I've been known to have them clip back in for me. You can't be nice with it. You gotta be, you gotta be mean. We don't have a rubber mallet either. That's what we need, isn't it? Good old rubber mallet. Yeah, because that's, it almost looks like it needs to go higher, based on the other side at least. And that little tab right there is probably holding us off from going higher. That looks way better. Yes. Well, golly, I think that did it. I think it clipped in. Got I didn't, I didn't one. care about that, man. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. All right. You like it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It drives and it's not scraping the ground. Hey, yeah. That, that might be a good marker to stay away from that edge. Yeah. Uh, you think maybe you can do the same magic on this front one? Magic, magic, don't you? Which the front bumper already is having the damage it had where it's broken in two spots. Yeah. Well, like I did with the one in the front and the one on the other side, I put them through here and then like inside. Inside that? Like, so I went down inside of it and then over the top of this. Hmm. That was the only real way that I could get it to Yeah, yeah work. to hold on there. Because there's not, there's just nothing Are the there. clips broken? Yeah, the clips are... They make it so you have to buy this piece, and this piece has the clips that go onto that thing, but... Uh, I don't know why that won't... Like, it won't go in any further. I, I might have a tie. Okay. I'm going to kick some more of this dirt in. A shovel too but i have to dig for it so i try not to <laughs> awesome awesome good deal sweet like it never even happened <laughs> <sighs> looks like you're getting it well, okay a bit of time you got light and everything. Okay, I'm gonna grab you a card. I would appreciate that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, guys, that was that was a little crazy. Um, uh, you know that bumper cover was, golly, that bumper cover seen some stuff. Yeah. Um, I started pulling on it, and um, all the zip ties just started going crazy it was it was pretty dug in on that one side it kind of pushed it all back from from digging into that bank but uh anyway it doesn't matter i mean I, we didn't hurt it any more than we put we replaced the zip ties <laughs> and got it to where it was uh safe it wasn't going to blow around and drag and you know his back bumper too his back bumper yeah. had hit that uh, stump or whatever it was it was just a bank it was just a dirt pile basically that it hit but yeah, he was there. He's been there for I'm filthy. 6:30. Since 6:30, it's uh, about 11:30 now. So yeah. just trying to find somebody that'll bless his heart. You know, and it always amazes me how cars stick, how they stick and don't slide the rest of the way down. Yeah, like I was telling, I was telling him. I, I think if it was like an SUV or something a little taller, it would have flipped and went down the 
150 foot or whatever it was there. That would be awful. That low car, it just stuck right there and and uh, really saved it. So, you know, you, you wouldn't think that a low car would would be the mountain choice up here, but it is if you're gonna you're gonna try to run off the side or the edge there. It's it's down it's down low and usually the belly pan will will kind of dig in and and support it. And that thing was dug in on all all corners of the world there. But yeah, true. He's lucky. He is. He's very fortunate. I'm glad we were able to get him out. I'm sorry about the whole other, I don't know, the Google thing. I hate that. I hate that yeah. people spend more than what they need to. Yeah, I, I never like it when people, are, yeah, to reach out to those companies that, that do that. But like I said, I, you know, I, I wanted to say it was scam, but it's not, you can't really call it a scam if you're, if you're paying somebody to, to perform a service and that's you know I guess that's what they did they reached out to us and um, and uh, told us what he needed and sent us his way so but I don't know I mean there's a lot of things like that in this world yeah where it's it's, like, it's a service they're like a middleman yeah I guess most of uh, most of the insurance companies are are the same <laughs> healthcare and, and they're all middlemen. <laughs> they're all middlemen, yeah. and yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's what a lot of the uh, a lot of that stuff ends up being. But that's that's definitely one that we don't need. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. Like I said, just reach out, look on Google, make sure that you've got an address, and you're talking to a local company, and they have their reviews, and and uh, you can physically call that address that's on there and talk to a local tow company because we've we've had a bunch of it and uh, they'll represent themselves as a local tow company because you type in towing near me and this company will be out in California taking an extra two to five hundred dollars off the top just to make a phone call for you so yeah it's unfortunate don't do it um it's it's getting late I'm gonna um, I, we'll see if we can get back to the house and maybe sit down for a little bit um before our early morning calls start coming in. Maybe everybody's safe. I hope everybody out there is safe and snug as a bug, enjoying this amazing fall-like weather we've been having here. Um, you can actually turn the air off, sleep with the windows open, listening to nighttime bugs every night, uh, which is amazing. It's like living here in the mountains, it's like camping out every night. If if you got the window open and you can hear the bugs and all the the nighttime creatures it's uh yeah it's like we're we're camping out in the mountains so we love that and as long as it'll last we'll enjoy it so stick around stay tuned got more coming your way okay uh youtube family uh i've come to the point here where i need to say thank you to it's like it's like everything auto christmas over here and uh it happens it happens a lot and i just wanted to reach out and say thank you guys so much we get a lot of cool things um not only for us but things to pass out uh to other people so um i just wanted to kind of go over i can't keep all this to myself i, I feel like i gotta show i gotta show our youtube family all the cool things that uh, that you guys think about you guys think about us every day take the time out of your day to a uh, time and money out of your day to to ship and pack and and send this stuff to us and and we can't thank you guys enough. This is this is just super cool. The first thing that I wanted to go through, I guess, was this one. Kristen says she has a note. Yes, this is from Shelly from Arkansas, and she says she's never sent anything like this to anyone before, and uh, she sent some knitted items for the baby, and uh, an item for me and an item for Kendra and. Um, something for you okay but we're going to let you open yours and then when we get with Kendra we're going to let her open that stuff okay guys so yeah um I'll, I'll do ours on our channel and if you're curious and you want to know what what Kendra or Elijah or the baby is getting then um you can go over to her channel also like I said uh, she's got a YouTube channel Kendra K um and you guys like to follow her adventures as well and that's just really cool but I mean I'll kind of give you guys a I mean, box of beautifully wrapped gifts. It's amazing. They got the little frillies oh, yes. and the and the. So pretty. Kendra will be so excited about getting that and opening. I don't want to take that 
opening pleasure away from country. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I, as, as much as I'd love to share with you guys, you know, this stuff, um, I want to make sure that, that she's able to to get the stuff that's that's hers and we get the stuff that's ours. <laughs> Filers would be towed. That's really cool. Thank you so much. I'll put that up on the wall with all of our other goodies there. Um, I'm, I've got a really big wall on the garage um, out back, so I plan on putting some more shelves and some more brackets and stuff, and, and, and I'm going to continue to do the whole wall and, and uh, whatever it takes, wall, the ceiling. <laughs> but that's just really cool to be able to walk in the garage because if I come down here to get a break and turn some wrenches, I can look at that wall, and it's just it's smiles. It's lots of smiles. Do you know which one is... Don't we don't know which one's yours. Unless, yeah, she said, we'll just let Kendra open them. We'll let Kendra open them. So yeah, guys, just follow Kendra K on her YouTube channel, and you'll be able to figure out what else is in that box. Um, While we're talking about Kendra, let's uh, talk about the delivery we got last night from UPS. It was a spoonful of comfort box. Yeah, and it had, was it soup? Soup and some rolls and some cookies and stuff. And we didn't open it, but we... Take it down to Kendra. Yeah, we'll get that down to Kendra too. Like I said, just follow her on her channel. You'll be able to see some of that cool stuff she's getting. So, uh, but you know that stuff is is amazing. You know, it's when you're when it's baby time and and uh, twenty four seven is all about uh, Miss Alora. Then uh, you know food and and snacks and things like that. You, you guys are amazing on keeping up on that stuff. That's just really cool to. And that didn't come with a note, but thank you to whomever. Sent yeah, I'm not sure who that was, but whoever you are out there in the YouTube family. Uh, we love you and we appreciate you on that one. Um, I think this is. Uh, guys, I've got... Um, the one that I have out. I maybe I already took it. No? Yes, I did already take it out. Somehow. Um, but this is really cool, guys. I just breathe the word of it. Just like all of our other guys there sending uh, the gloves and, and uh, stuff like that. It's just really cool. But I'd mentioned something about the blacktop being super hot. If you guys know if the temperatures in your area are like the temperatures in our area, you know, uh, the, that blacktop is like 100 plus degrees. And I, and I, even if I'm trying to, so when I was trying to rescue a few other people, I've, I've been known to put belts and, uh, shifter cables and stuff that we can fix on the fly and and save some folks some money on some repairs and toes sometimes i'll do that but these are really cool um so thank you very much for and i've got a bag of these for every truck the the the, the arm sleeves to keep you from getting awesome. getting burnt um oh, that's just really cool you can slide those over and uh keep your arm safe i've been burnt so many times on yeah on that stuff so that's going to be very handy to keep a set of those in uh, in every truck because you just never know what you have to hook chains to things are hot um so and i can't remember who sent me those either i've got a yeah they were directly from amazon and and somebody had reached out to me in uh um I've got them in my messenger, and I do apologize, guys. I, I mean, I, I, I try to keep track of, of this stuff. and uh, But, yeah, somebody had sent me a message, so I do have them in messenger. Uh, it looks like it come from Kansas. No, this is the manufacturer. So, uh, But, yeah, YouTube family. Awesome. You guys are amazing. Really that is really cool. Um, I had a bunch of stuff here. Was this Kendra's? No, this, this was an R. <laughs> How, how cool is that? That is awesome. So the note said that she buys the aprons and then she embroiders on them. And look, this is all done by hand. That is amazing. That's that crazy. all done by hand. And she said they're completely usable, completely washable. Everything holds up in the wash and that is just amazing looks like amy amy myers amy myers amy myers that's that awesome and she sent one for you and one for me and one for Kendra. oh wow look at that look at the detail on that that is amazing i love that that's really that cool beautiful that is amazing such talent 
That's really, really cool. Looks like I've got one more. That's a, that's a really cool one too. Oh, how pretty. I love that. So pretty. So talented. That's amazing. I wonder how much time that took to make, because that is, that would take me forever. I mean, there's a, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, they're everywhere. There's a bunch of them, so, awesome. wow. Thank you so much, Amy. Amy has some talent. Yes, she does. That is super cool, Amy. That's something that, yeah, we can definitely keep around. I, I know we're always, you know, on the go trying to, trying to cook things and, and, uh, Okay, I've got all of that stuff. This one here was another big box. Um, so it has been made, but we don't know exactly where it's from. But it's definitely from another country because they have kilograms and centimeters, and we don't do that stuff here in America. So that's interesting. Look at how cute. How cute. There's something else in that bag. Too. Yeah, there was a pair of uh, boots or shoes. How cute are those? So adorable. I'm showing this stuff on my channel. I should have sent it down to Kendra, but <laughs> I'm going to share. Adorable. I'm going to share. And there was a note that said to me that thing. Sorry, I'm getting Was there a note in here? In that bag? No, not in that bag. It's in here. Um, Is it a keychain? Not that one. Yeah, the small one. Oh, that's a, that's a really cool. Uh, Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. I know your grandma loves butterflies, and you got a bunch of butterfly stuff from yeah. from your grandma. Um, uh, Louise, Louise Love Cup. Thank you, Louise. She sent uh, a keychain and a uh, a little wooden heart shaped dish and some pictures. pictures. Yeah. Um, and she sent something for Kendra. Kendra, uh, going to see that on Kendra's. Uh, go to Kendra K. Um, I will put that in with. Uh, with Kinder stuff there, but really cool. That's a hand carved, oh, that's awesome. hand carved heart box there, and um, the uh, the picture frame, and a little dog and a puppy. Awesome. Love the journey. <laughs> that's really cool. Awesome stuff, Thank guys. Yeah, I don't know what country it's from. Um, you know, maybe we'll uh, we'll get somebody to reach back out to us and and uh, uh, we appreciate that. That's really cool. Um, I got a I got a little I got the duck for from Cassidy uh, Cassidy's journey, and uh, they sent uh, one of the little stickers and the ducks. So. Um, we appreciate Cassidy watching the channel. Um, she's always out there uh, tagging along with us. It's just really cool. Um, and I think I might have covered this in one of our videos, but like I said, I, I mentioned that uh, things are, are slow on gas jugs on some of our fuel deliveries and stuff like that. And somebody had sent out these, uh, uh, the non-safety uh, pour. So these are, these are great because I can get gas in a vehicle very fast and, and uh, I got some gas jugs that, uh, that I can put back on the trucks. And I just had a bunch of jugs with uh, bad nozzles, so now I can replace those. And uh, somebody knows I love the suspenders. <laughs> so somebody did send uh, some uh, some more suspenders for me, and I love wearing those. I do put them under my shirt, but these could go either way. Those are very bright. So they've got, yeah, they've got safety, safety stuff in there. And um, that was a no, that one was something else but now this one guys this one here so our military people um i should be sending care packages to you but instead of me doing that you're sending cool stuff care packages to me so i am super honored to be able to um and i can't even remember where he's from he's stationed in uh, maybe we shouldn't say exactly where he's stationed in the middle east in the middle east Stationed in the Middle East, but um, do we know his name? It's on the front of the box. Let me see if I can figure out uh, everything auto. James. So James, uh, wherever you are out there in the Middle East, this is super, super amazing. And he sent us um, some toy tow trucks to send to the, uh, to the kitties. How cool. Really cool. Sent us a bunch of 
crazy. Um, it's uh, uh, some, if you guys know anything about uh, the Middle East, then maybe you'll know where these are from. <laughs> but we'll keep it uh, top secret. Um, uh, some cookies. Oh, cool. Some more ramen. Um, this one. What is it? I don't really know. But fudge. it looks it's fudge. fudge. Hmm, interesting. That's a cool That's little cool. A cool little box. Um, this one was uh, wrapped up so it wouldn't break. But what a cool, that's a cool little glass. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That is amazing. Yeah, like I said, you guys, um, awesome. I should be sending you guys cool stuff, but instead I get, I get cool stuff. Oh that's a whole entire box full of stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Folded and ready to go. We'll get a, a case for that. We will have to get a case for that for sure. That is really cool. That'll be cool up in the garage there too. Um, I, I mean, I'm, this is going to be cool to like <laughs> sit on the couch and and try some of these. Um, we'll have to invite Kendra and Elijah. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have a, a, a sampling, a uh, uh, an on the couch or garage scent. Now this is. Uh, I bet you I don't get too many of these. This would be a one of a kind. I mean, I, you guys are amazing. How, how would I? How would I ever get the opportunity to get something as cool as as that license plate? That's awesome. That's that's just really cool. And it also sent me a poor man's rigging manual, which is just chock full of awesome information. I mean, how to and tiebacks and and. Uh, just an awesome, an awesome little manual there. So James, you are an amazing guy. I hope that you are staying safe um, where you're at and just know that we will have a garage sampling. I will give that tow truck out to a very good deserving. person, deserving yeah. little one. Awesome. We'll love to have that. Phone's ringing. My phone never rang. Oh, it's my grandma. Okay. And I wanted to say thank you to Keith, who brought us some stuff from his garden. Yeah, Keith brought over a whole bunch of, go of goodies uh, from the garden. It's going to keep us, like I said, we've got some snacks there. We've got some garden stuff from Keith. Um, we've got, you know, all of our hoses, our suspenders, our, just our really cool stuff. So I just wanted to go through, yeah, yeah a little bit of that. And um, we'll get with Kendra and Elijah and the baby, and we'll go through that end of the stuff there. But it is a beautiful Saturday. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I got all of this in there. And I'm sure I'm forgetting, I'm sure I'm forgetting I stuff. Know. We've got all, people have sent us all kinds of stuff for the goodie bags. And yes. Stuff. I've still gotten, uh, yeah, suckers, lollipops. I've gotten toy, mm -hmm. uh, light up wands. Just know that Halloween is going to be really cool. We're going to, we're going to try to get a location that we're, that we'll be able to set up and uh, pass out a whole bunch of this stuff that you guys have uh, donated to us mm -hmm. to get out. Uh, you just have some really good stuff for the kids for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be very exciting on that. Um, last year we did, you know, Gatlinburg. So hopefully we'll be in the Gatlinburg area. I'll try to get those details out to you where we're going to try to, to sit. So that way you guys can come by and say, hey, and maybe we can shake your hand uh, for, for giving us some of this cool stuff here. And uh, we're just really excited. We're really excited for that stuff and to be able to help out. And... Um, our YouTube family is amazing. So stick around, stay tuned. We've got a busy Saturday afternoon here, but I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you once again for all of this amazing, cool stuff. And every time the uh, the UPS guy or the mailman comes, it's always smiles because um, we just, you know, we're just the luckiest people in the world. We get we get uh, Christmas every day, and I'm going to be able to, to supply the stuff there in the garage for the cool memory wall. And um, But, yeah, got to get back at it, guys. See you on the next one.